everybody, welcome back to the Green Yard. I know we haven't released an episode in a while. I'm excited to get things going again here in the Green Yard. Lots of things have been happening, even though I haven't been filming it, releasing it. Uh, lots of new growth, plantings, added trees, added design features to the Green Yard that I plan on updating you on. Today though, we're over here in the food forest, tropical food forest part of the green yard. We have our big, huge mulberry tree, Pakistani mulberry that was planted uh, last year. It's already grown to well over 12 feet. We have our uh, jackfruit tree that made it through the winter, still is kicking. It's actually put on a lot of new growth. We have our African tulip tree over there in the corner. Once again, made it through winter, grew about six feet last year everything's doing great but the reason why we're here is because we're planting one of the most sought after tropical trees here in the phoenix area also one of the most difficult to grow and that's going to be the avocado tree i have a hall avocado tree sitting right here let's get to planting here we go <laughs> Part of the reason that it's so difficult to grow avocado trees here in the Phoenix area is one, the sun. The avocado tree needs to have afternoon shade. And when I say afternoon shade, I mean after 10 o'clock, it needs to be in the shade. And so a lot of people don't have a microclimate set up like I do. I'm very fortunate to have this 80 year old mulberry tree here that provides that afternoon shade. But so picking the spot for shade is very, very important. Two, avocado trees are a little temperamental. They need to have water, they need to have mulch, and they need to have a slightly acidic soil. Those are all the things that other tropical trees need, but when it comes to an avocado tree, you need to be a little bit more delicate when it comes to those different things. So I've decided to put my avocado tree here I was actually going to put a different tropical tree that I will do another planting on, a soursop tree, in this location. But avocado trees like that morning sun. They can actually grow into full sun. So they need to have sun, but they can't have enough. They need to have water, but not too little. So they're kind of like Goldilocks. Everything needs to be perfect for them to grow and thrive here in the Phoenix area. And there are examples of 20, 30, 40 foot tall avocado trees growing in the Phoenix area. And maybe someday I can contact those people and do a video on that. I would love to go and see those trees. They have fruited. It is possible to get an avocado tree to fruit here in the Phoenix area. So I've dug my hole right in front of this mulberry tree. The trunk is going to provide a great shade, especially as it gets established for the first few years. It's gonna block out all of that afternoon sun, which is coming from that direction. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon currently, and all of that sun is coming in from the west side of the green yard. So let's go ahead and get this guy in the ground, make sure we mix our soil, get everything going. So I've dug our hole and it's about two feet deep on the right side. Now, one of the weird things about this spot is that we do have this 80 year old mulberry tree and it has these large roots coming down. And this happens to be one of those large roots coming right across. I didn't want to take that root out. So I decided to leave it there and I dug on the other side very similar to what I've done with my lychee tree and it is thriving in its current location. So we're going to go ahead and use our native soil as well as our potting or our planting soil, our tropical tree soil, and we're going to mix and mix and mix, make it a right consistency for that avocado tree to thrive.
So now let's grab our avocado tree. Oh, that guy's heavy. And we're gonna get him in its new home here. Level everything out. Looks good. I think it's excited to get in the ground. You'll notice uh, it has a lot of blossoms on it, new growth. It's gonna just do so much better in the ground. They really like to be in the ground. So let's get them out of here. Gently as we can felt pretty root bound at the nursery but just want to make sure it is in fact ready to go protected at, at all costs because I want to make sure it starts off on a good foot here and get to let go of the pot all right here we go There we go, getting it, getting it. All right, Woo. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely a little root bound in that pot. I'm glad we're planting it when we are, but it's there. It's in the ground, looks great see here. Okay, I like the positioning of it too. Actually, I'm moving a little bit more this way. Make sure it is, in fact, in the shade. Okay, just got to make sure it's level. Give it the best foundation to grow and be successful. Looks really good. All right, so it's in its spot. It's looking happy. Notice that the root ball is above grade. I want that because as the water goes through, it's gonna help the plant settle into its spot. Keeping it above grade allows the root flare, these top of the roots here to breathe still. Therefore, the tree is breathing. Our remaining dirt, throw it in there. And then all of this is actually a big pile of mulch. Put it all around, make sure it's nice and cozy and comfortable in its new home. Sometimes this happens too, where I need to mix some new dirt in as well. Typically what I do with this is I go ahead and I use my trusty wheelbarrow and I just take some of the dirt here, mix it in, and then dump it again onto our avocado tree. So mulch is one of those things that I've talked about a lot on the green yard, but I haven't done a full episode on it. Basically it's broken down and shredded branches, leaves, all types of material that have been broken down, shredded from a tree being taken down. And uh, what happens is the microorganisms in the soil end up breaking down all this material into really great dirt. For example, here's our miracle fruit tree. Doing wonderful after the winter. Let's go ahead and stick our hand in here real fast. Let's see what it looks like underneath here. All that, all of that mulch has been breaking down, especially over here, it's been breaking down for quite some time. And we're starting to get some really good dark dark soil unlike the soil that originally comes in the ground it's very dark uh, very full of nutrients and organic matter the best thing to move that mulch and get it into place is actually this mulch pitchfork works wonders so easy to pick it up place it where you want it to
let's go through our amendments and how we're going to finish up planting this Hall avocado tree. For those of you that have watched the channel before, you'll know that here in the Phoenix area we need to add agricultural sulfur to our soil because the pH here in Phoenix is very high, about 8, 8.5. Most fruit trees, especially tropical trees, like a lower pH. So we add this agricultural sulfur pellets to the mulch around to reduce the pH of the soil. So I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle this around here, around the tree on top of my mulch. And that's one of the amendments that I will add. The other amendment I like to add is something called azomite. It's essentially rock dust. It gets a whole bunch of those minerals that, you know, your plants don't often get, those trace minerals, and it adds them to the soil. So on top of the sulfur, I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle this around as well and get some of that in there too. Now, I need to, before I water, take out our nursery stick. Remember, nursery sticks actually hold our trees back. They can also affect the uh, growth of roots. So I'm just gonna unclip my stakes here. Un, uh, I should say unstaple them. We'll remove that nursery stake kind of ease it out there set it off to the side I like to reuse those repurpose them and now we got our water so gonna go through try to rinse down that azomite rinse in some of that sulfur start getting it uh, soaking in I also want to get my mulch wet that'll help it break down faster the moisture helps the microorganisms be attracted to the mulch So we're just going to spray all the way around, get everything all nice and wet. So we planted our Hall Avocado tree. It looks very happy in its new spot. Can't wait to hopefully get some fresh avocados off it in a few years. Remember to like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook or Instagram. And as always, live green, plant lots, and of course, have fun. We'll see you next time.